What is GDP, gross domestic product or national income, over time? And the idea of success in the economy we have and we're trying to escape from is an ever rising line. More is always better. It goes up, up, up. Growth that never ends. So that's what everyone has in his mind, so yeah. to speak. When you hear politicians talking about the economy, they say we want smart growth or good growth, resilient growth, inclusive growth, green growth, clean growth, balanced growth. You can have anything you want so long as it's growth, because this is the idea of what economic success looks like. It was first created in the 1930s when the, the measure of national income was first created for the US economy and then created for all economies. And the idea that unending growth is what we're pursuing has been structured financially, politically and socially into our minds and into our economies. So that this has been the overriding image and idea of what progress looks like. And yet it's leaving us falling far short on some of life's essentials. And what happens when the line's going down? Oh, well, that's obviously... What does that do to people? Well, when you have an economy that is dependent, demands and expects unending growth and it's not coming, of course it's a disaster. Of course a recession or a crash is an absolute disaster in people's lives. We lose jobs, we lose value from the economy. It's, it's you know, governments come rushing in and bail out the banks. So of course it's a disaster if the line goes down in an economy that depends upon it always going upwards. This is where we're trapped. And this is why we have to get out of this trap of unending growth. And where is it going, the line? Well, that's a jolly good question. It's, it, it, on a 3% growth rate a year on year, it goes, shoots up to infinity. But stand back and look at the best example we can learn from nature. Nothing in nature grows forever. Anything that tries to grow forever destroys the host on which it depends. In our own bodies, we call it a cancer. So anything in nature actually grows and then comes to thrive. I can draw that on top of here. It grows. But instead, nature eventually comes to thrive. That is a very different direction for an economy. Could we create economies that don't have to grow forever, whether or not they make us thrive, but instead grow until they make us thrive, whether or not they grow further? That's the transformation I think this century demands we make.